Today, I'm going to try and help you answer this very popular question. Why don't we pronounce English words the way they're spelled? Over the years, I've had many, many, many students tell me, why is it that we don't say these English words the way they're spelled? It doesn't make any sense. It's very confusing. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. English has crazy spelling and weird pronunciation that goes with it. Keep in mind, I'll be giving you the American pronunciation of these words because, well, I'm American. I don't think British English is that different. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is pretty relevant for just about all English varieties. So let's just jump right into it. The first letter combination that I want to talk to you about is the GH. So let's start at the beginning of the word. If you see these two letters at the beginning of the word, it's just going to have a simple G sound. The H is going to be silent. For example, ghost, ghetto. It's also a simple G sound when you find it in the middle of a word sometimes, aghast. Afghanistan. Now, if we're talking about some compound nouns, you might pronounce the G and the H. So, for example, somebody might call somebody else a pig head. Not a nice thing to say, but in this case, you would say the G and the H. Or bighorn. G and H are both pronounced big horn. And finally, when the GH comes at the end of the word, I think this is where it probably becomes the most confusing because oftentimes it just has an F sound, as in laugh, tough, enough. Now, there are some exceptions to this rule, and I know English and all the exceptions, I hate it, but we, we just got to deal with it. So, for example, although, dough, thigh, sigh. In this case, the GH is just completely silent. But remember, most of the time when you see the GH at the end of a word, it'll have that F sound. Rough, tough, laugh, enough. You get the point. Next, let's talk about these two letters right here, the P and the H. I think this is a little easier because Pretty much wherever you find it, at the beginning, the middle, or the end, it's going to have an F sound. So, for example, at the beginning of the word, phone. In the middle, elephant. And at the end of a word, graph. The PH will have the F sound. Sticking with P's, if you have a P and S together, basically the P is silent. So, when you see it, oftentimes at the beginning of a word, you're not going to say the P. Psychology psychic, psychopath. In these words, the P is silent. Now let's look at a vowel sound and you might see these two letters, the double O together, and most often it's either going to have one of two sounds. It's either going to have an O sound or an U. So for example, an O sound in cool, fool, pool, or an U sound in book, look, took. These aren't the only sounds that these two letters make, and that can cause a lot of confusion. Unfortunately, there is no rule for this. You just have to learn these words, learn the pronunciation, and practice and practice and practice. The double O may also make an O sound, as in door or floor. And it can have more of an uh sound as in blood or flood. Again, there's no rule. You just have to read these words, listen to the way people say them correctly, and practice and practice and practice and practice. Keep in mind, I think a wonderful way to learn spelling and pronunciation and to match them up is to use subtitles when you are watching TV or movies because you are hearing the pronunciation as well as reading the words and you're able to match the sounds to the spelling. Good way to practice, use subtitles. You can even use subtitles for this lesson right now if you want to listen to my pronunciation of the words. Next, I want to talk to you about four letters that you often see at the end of words. And those letters could be T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N. The pronunciation is the same. T-I-O-N is pronounced shun, pronunciation, occupation. S-I-O-N also pronounced shun, comprehension. When you see the T-I-O-N or the S-I-O-N, 
the stress of this word, the syllable stress is going to come on the syllable before. So for example, the word pronunciation, the stress is going to come on the syllable before the T-I-O-N. So it's pronunciation. Same with the word comprehension. The stress is going to come on the syllable before S-I-O-N, which in this case, comprehension. Comprehension. Let's stay with word endings for right now because other letters you might see at the end of a word are these five right here. O-L-O-G-Y. And this is pronounced ology. And what makes this, I think, a little challenging is that you have these two O's right here. That first one is a short O sound and the second O is more of a schwa sound. Ology. So we see this at the end of words like technology. Astrology, neurology, endocrinology. Another popular word ending is T-U-R-E. And when you see these four letters at the end of a word, it's pronounced chur. We say T-U-R-E as chur. Literature, acupuncture, rapture, adventure. There's just so many words out there that, that end in T-U-R-E. Just remember chur. Now, these two letters right here, this is a very, very difficult one, and it is the RL blend. Because the R sound and the L sound on their own, th those are difficult sounds to make. Now, I'm not gonna go over those individual sounds. We did a video lesson about that before, and if you wanna check that out, it'll help you make those individual sounds. Now, since both of those sounds are very difficult, you can imagine that when you find these two letters right next to each other, in some words, it's very challenging for many English language learners. For example, girl, world, swirl. You have to make that transition from the R to the L where the R sound, your tongue is in the middle of your mouth, and you transition to the L where your tongue is going to touch the top part right behind your front teeth. Girl, twirl, world. Again, I encourage you watch the RL lesson. This will really help you with these two sounds. Now, I really, really, really want to hear from all of you because if there are any other difficult words or letter combinations that you think are challenging to pronounce, please write them in the comments, share with us. Maybe we'll do another lesson in the future talking about this because there are so many different crazy English spellings and their weird pronunciation. If you enjoyed this lesson and feel like you learned something new, please hit that like button down below. And if you love learning and practicing your English skills, We'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. There are some exceptions to this rule. For example, wow, I forgot. Hit that like button. And if you love it, uh, one more time. All right.